Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Legends Only. My name is T. Kyle. And I'm Bradley. And this is your weekly pop culture podcast where we talk about Legends Only. Live during a hurricane. Reporting from outside. (laughs) Brad, how are you doing over there? (laughs) Stay clear. (laughs) Stop sign whips in my face. Yeah, Yeah, Miss Henri. It's Is French, that how it's you pronounced? Know. Yeah, just like Dumois. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hurricane Ducks Moy. Hurricane Ducks Moy incoming with Henry. Uh, yeah, so far nothing I don't feel has happened. Well, the day is, yeah, don't, <laughs> the even, day, that's... <laughs> don't even take it back. What, cut to my ceiling completely falling down, which yeah, has happened. Cut to me walking outside to get Dunkin' Donuts and getting hit by like a falling <laughs> lawn chair. From Henri. Yeah. Oui, oui, s'il vous plaît. Chic. All right, everyone. Well, we hope that you are safe out there and dry and that it is not raining on you. Rain on Henri. L- well, li- <laughs> literally, <laughs> Tai T got canceled. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, canceled or just put inside? Oh, relocated. Oh, and not oh. relocated, rescheduled. Remixed, remastered, yeah. relo- Remixed, relocated. Remixed, remastered, rescheduled. Uh, <laughs> still iconic. Yeah. Which makes me think, would the actual Chromatica Ball have been canceled because of this? Uh, or was it supposed to be next week? Was it supposed to be this weekend? It was supposed to be sometime in August. Oh. So I, in I, theory, I, we would have missed it anyway. Th- that's right. God... Wow. Tried to cancel it already. Yeah. <laughs> Made sure. Twice. Watch out for the remix album. He's going to throw down a fucking tornado. Oh. <laughs> the album already sounds like a tornado, if you ask me. Yeah. I would like to see it. it sounds like a lot of noise. <laughs> I want to be on it. <laughs> well, they shouldn't announce the full track listing yet. You never know. Okay, but if you watched my Twitch stream, which is like two of you, uh-huh. um... I played my Rain On Me mix. Oh, you did? And it sounded like they got exclusive listening rights. See, that's why you got to tune in to the Twitch streams. Yeah. <laughs> the Chromatica remix album, The Re-Up Reloaded in 2023, featuring T. Kyle. Um, I think I did a really good job. I think you probably did, too. Did you update it since I last heard it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like 10 uh-huh. times. All right. Yeah. Well, that's I'm sure usually she's how doing it happens. that with the remix album, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, back to this week. As always, we would like to give a huge thank you to all of our supporters on patreon.com slash legends only. <laughs> I'm getting better at singing. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> Considering this is another remote production. Yeah, gonna get a Tony. Oh yeah, I was not, I was not taking a kayak over to T. Kyle's today. Oh yeah, we are, <laughs> we are remote again. We do not want any co-hosts harmed. Yeah. <laughs> By wind. Uh, anyway, well, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So thank oh, you yeah. to all of our supporters on Patreon. This week, live chat on Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, wig, yes. Friday night, little moment. Bonus episode next week. And yeah, so I can't believe it's almost fall. Well, you must be excited. It's pumpkin season at Dunkin' Donuts. <gasps> it is not sponsored. Not sponsored, but soon to be, I I hope. The pumpkin cold foam. The cold foam. Bop. Did it drop? Yeah. Bop icon. Made all the noise. Slay, the BB Rexa slay emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. Fire. But it's you could, fire. oh, we can, it's also going to be crew next season. Crew next season? Yeah, so I can finally cover up. I don't know what that means. I don't, yeah. I've never. <laughs> You're like, what, 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 <laughs> what was that? What the fuck does that mean? We're going to get you a turtleneck. I'm going to have, like, a, a, a one-quarter sleeve, which is a t-shirt. That'll, <laughs> that'll Oh, my God, that'll be our me. next merch. We'll sell just, like, pasties and yeah. um, turtlenecks. <laughs> I love that idea. Mm, coming yeah. soon. No, I'm, I, as people may know, I am entering my clothed era. Not this week, but there was a week. <laughs> there was two to three days, actually, where I wore a shirt. So we are entering the era Wow, we love I'm, a new I'm era. gonna do it for fall. I'm gonna wear buttoned shirts. She, you know. yeah, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, <clears throat> well, 
speaking of uh, fall and wearing things like masks, Miss Delta is rearing her bitch ass head. Miss Delta variant, she snatched Hillary Duff's wig. <laughs> she did. Hillary called her a bitch. She did. <laughs> <laughs> she said, it- it's a bitch. I think so. I think, Do you what know what you're caption? saying when you say that's so gay? <laughs> Literally. Her to the Delta variant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, unfortunately, our double vaxxed responsible queen. Yes, she called the Delta variant a, quote, little bitch. It, it got her good. But she's she's all right. She's relaxing in bed. You know, she was one of our first warriors who did come on the Instagram story and say, you little shits, go home. There's a there's a pandemic. I don't know if she said that at the time, because it was like literally the first weekend of March that it happened. She was early in. We stand for a reason. We stand. She's, you know, tackling homophobia and airborne illnesses always. Ugh. Yeah. Get and well promoting, soon, like, eyewear off. or something. Oh, a lot of eyewear. Yeah. yeah. She's been doing a lot of reading at home while she's responsibly socially distancing. And yet, but I don't know. Maybe she's been hanging out with the babies too much. The little shit springing the little germs everywhere. Ew, what are you saying about babies? That's so disrespectful. I'm... All the mothers out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is dedicated to all the mothers and the children <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> of the world. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, well, I think that... We are frightened of Cornova. <laughs> They're I the ones bringing that it soundboard home. sound bite is still... I wanted to delete her off the soundboard. I know, can you believe? Ugh. Yes, I can actually believe. I actually can believe, yeah. yeah. Well, everybody stay safe, wear a mask, socially distance, as, as you know, and we're gonna just keep on going. And get vaccinated. And get vaccinated. Booster shots incoming. Oh yeah, the booster era. Yeah. <laughs> Newly announced era incoming, <laughs> but not for me. Johnson and Johnson, they were like, hold on, girls. Yeah. You can you can just sit pretty and relax. It's fine. I'm God, here with my that. shampoo conditioner. I am unbothered, but it sounds like the Moderna and Pfizer girls are getting the re up. Yeah. I gotta get yeah. my booster shot. Yeah. That's literally going to be the only thing that's penetrated me this entire pandemic is the fucking (laughs) (laughs) fucking Pfizer shots. God, kill me. Wow. Well, um... (laughs) That was so inappropriate. Oh, my God. I am shocked that it came out of you. (laughs) You know, she's a a new girl. She is a a chaste new girl. Yeah, (laughs) very... Fuck it. It's a pandemic. (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, things happen. Anyway. <laughs> She's starting. Uh, speaking of uh, making it happen, actually. Oh. Somebody just made it happen <laughs> on the beach. Mariah is out with a liqueur, right? It's a liqueur, I believe. Right? I was going to ask What's you. The because difference? I, I, I Isn't it just like a tasty thing that you add to the alcohol? I don't know. I think it's creamier. <laughs> I hope that's the audio that gets taken out of context. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I think they mix it with chocolate. Like, I think that's what liqueur is. Okay, yes. Irish cream. I don't liqueur. know. No, it's called Black Irish, which, legendary, we, we love a double meaning there. What's the du- She's Black Irish. Oh. I love it. We love layers. We love layers. She, um, yes, uh, if you read her book... <laughs> Um, I didn't read it. Writing. I listened to it. <laughs> That's true. I That's listened true. to That's... her live performance of it. Uh huh. She um she's black Venezuelan and Irish. It says actually. So, but anyway, yes, black Irish. Like there's a double. There's layers there. As as we know with Mariah, there's always a meaning. She does love a bubbly. She loves a splash at the beach. Um, this doubles as a high fashion editorial moment. It really that photo <laughs> shoot was so funny. She's been putting her heart into the project for almost two years, and she's so excited to finally share the news. It's a, it will include Irish cream, salted caramel, and white chocolate. Traditionally enjoyed during the winter holidays, but it can be a year-round beverage. Oh, wow. So she's really going for Christmas. Right. Like, she's definitely... She's, she's going to be starting. in your drinks, <laughs> playing on your radio, it, on your We TVs. need to have the she's starting with, with the ominous sound of All I Want for Christmas is You playing in the background. <laughs> 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 they're stamped with her initials mc and emblazoned with her butterfly 
iconic. Now, do you remember? I fucking love that top. <laughs> do you remember the drink that she introduced? No. Okay. She did it in about 2016, I want to say. It was a festive drink that was not alcoholic. It was like a bubbly of some sort. People, everyone knows what I'm talking about. There was a, yes, 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 yes. It's called the um, butterfly drink. Uh, <laughs> really complicated <laughs> it was, there. Oh, 2014. A melodic beverage inspired by the magic of Mariah Carey. It looked like that. Oh, it, looked, oh, it was pink right. with a giant butterfly. I did go and try and find that. Now I'm remembering. Sophisticated sweetness. I remember I bought one and it was Basically, like, having Jessica Simpson's edible makeup in liquid form. It was so sweet, if I remember correctly. Cough syrupy, almost. Ooh. <laughs> it did not last. I don't think it went the distance. Do any of the queens have, like, successful... Well, I'll say that Kylie Minogue's wine collection has been going strong for about two years now, but I guess that's still early to tell. But they keep expanding. I'm loving that for her. I loved Fabellini by Teresa Giudice. <laughs> Didn't I stand in line for six hours? For, no, that was for the cookbook. Yes, the signing at Stu Leonard's. And I got the V-neck um, sunburn from standing in line <laughs> to see <laughs> Teresa. Did you go to Jersey? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was Peak Housewives 2011. This was like, oh, I will go because right. there will be a table flip. Yeah. The Madonna of Housewives. Madonna had a wine for a second there. I think it was an Icon member exclusive, though. Um, But who has one that's gone the distance? There are some. Didn't Rihanna invest in coconut water? She did, Vita. So that's iconic. I I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to hope that Irish cream, this this line of uh, various cremes, goes the distance. Love that Um, for her. References on references. Mm Mm-hmm. And we didn't even talk about the art, which was uh, her lying on the beach, giving you uh, Me, I Am Mariah, the elusive yeah. Chanteuse. Oh, uh, very Me, I Am Mariah. Yes. Just casually there in an expensive gown. We love to see it. I already photoshopped the bottle out and put Duncan in. I did notice that. I was surprised it wasn't White Claw. I, well, maybe. <laughs> Not sponsored. I gave them enough promo with that Baby Yoda image. You did. You did. Well, another legendary M was having quite a moment this week. Making, I, I, not making a fool of herself, actually. I thought it was a very festive moment. It is the Queen of Pop's birthday, August 16th. She turned 63 years old, and she is out there. 63 years young. 63 years young, but some, some of us only count anniversaries, and we don't even count the numbers, darling. Um, <laughs> I'm yes. 21. Yes, you are 21 and some. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she is out partying with her whole family. Very happy to see even Rocco, Lola, all the babies are there with her, and her man of younger age. <laughs> partying Work. in Italy. They, I loved her uh, little head mask item that she had. It looked very expensive. And she looked great. The boobs were out in all their glory. And in true Madonna fashion, she was just dancing the entire time. She shared like a two-minute video, and there was nonstop dancing in the restaurant, outside, constant. I would, I would be afraid to be her friend. I would never want to be her friend, because I feel like there would be such a requirement to like, get up, get out of your seat. <laughs> like... <laughs> Everybody, (laughs) come on. Constantly, like, throwing the napkin in the air, just being like, hey, hey, hey. And it's like, I thought we were going to have salad and, like, calm down. (laughs) You guys are the same height. We are the same height. I know. And that would just, you know, that would, we could trade clothes, I guess. But. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, tits out. Tits out. (laughs) Honestly, she would like my clothes. Uh, yeah, so happy birthday, Madonna. It was a legendary week, and most iconically, I forgot but didn't realize as I'm saying this, huge announcement on her birthday. The entire discography is getting moved to... She signed a huge deal with Warner Music, and she is personally curating and releasing deluxe editions of her albums at last. This is going to be a multi-year project. It said there will be events tied to this. There will be special things. 
And Guy Osiri and Madonna said, like, basically, this is what fans have been waiting for. So, very Oh my God, Confessions Tour 2, please. Honestly, it could happen. Another, like, one night only or something. Ugh. That is one of my biggest regrets, is missing the Confession Tour. I was just talking about that with somebody. Yes, everyone who got to see that is... That was a tweet, actually. Everyone is a saint who got to see that live. But I was a broke college kid, so... And I was a socially anxious uh, high school senior. And I was too afraid to go to a concert on my own. And I was not quite assuredness in my gayness to go, I I feel like. Yeah, that was right at the brink of, like, owning it. Yeah, your emancipation era. Had not yet come fully. So, (laughs) regrets, I have a few. (laughs) I remember it coming out around the same time as uh, Be In The Mix. And just, yeah, anyway. That's like the only memory that I have era of means year of college, so much to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, Madonna's Instagram has gotten really good. She's really serving. good. Again, the birthday looks are incredible. The photos uh, are so good. Yeah, they are. She looks fantastic. I'm loving her whole blasphemous in front of the cross moment with her cake and her posing. L U V Madonna. Anyway, so the HBD. Tits were out in Instagram. And speaking of tits out. Yeah, speaking of tits out. We have a sad update. It's actually very bad for some friends and people we know. Uh, Miss Miss OnlyFans, she said, not today, tits. Uh, she, <laughs> well, they, they put out a very, at first, kind of whatever statement that was like, yeah, we're going to not have anything explicit, but you can also have pictures and videos. Yeah, it was weird. And then that was like, okay, so does that just mean like really heinous or like insane things that you're blocking? And then it was like, oh, no, no, no. We mean like, you know, tasteful nudes like of Michelangelo's paintings, like not your boobs out or like having sex. So basically they shut down sex workers or anybody who's done any sort of planning to. Yeah. Pornographic starting October 1st, which just from a business perspective is like flop. That I mean, look at Tumblr. Yeah, I mean, granted, it still has life. Still but there, it just, but it's it wasn't what it used to be. Nope. I just yeah, it sucks. It's actually bad for people who use that as their primary income. It's annoying just because it's like fuck off. <laughs> it's like, well, I, they built their valuation off of sex workers yeah and then they said okay we've got a cute amount of money now you can go and we're gonna prop up um a chef and like all these other bullshit things it's like we have patreon and everything else for that we know what that is like you've associated yourself with a certain aesthetic i hope they flop uh but i also think that there's like there's like five competitors that are just you know lesser known but there's like just for fans and other names that are similar any one of them could become the new queen main Queen of Pop with when it comes to like showing pole and hull. So (laughs) exactly. I mean, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Like they are not gonna get they'll probably pay creators to join. Yeah. Like how Facebook's doing right now. Like they're basically dumping money, begging people to use their platform. Yeah. I also feel like I don't know if we've talked about it on the pod, but I it just takes one sex positive queen to, like, have her own empire. Like, what if Cardi B had her own OnlyFans, where everyone... She's just making the money of of people using her platform. Oh, you mean, like, actually investing in the social platform? Yeah, like, what if... Oh. Yeah, like... Because, yeah, she's on OnlyFans, but, like, as far as her having her own platform, like, she could become a billionaire just from having yeah. people create under... Like, I don't know. Somebody should be looking into that. Or Carly Rae Jepsen. Somebody should I'm sure be looking they are. into it. There's a lot of investment firms now that invest in smaller businesses to help them take off. So I could see it happening. I just think we're in a different time. They fucked up. I mean, they're blaming financiers and like financial companies, but I feel like the tides are turning in culture where like it's becoming such a whatever, like it's going to exist no matter what you do. So stop trying to crack down on this. Mm -hmm. And instead, like... Just be capitalist garbage monsters like you are and make money off of it. Yeah. Uh, OnlyFans gets the uh, clown award of the week. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Act a fool girl award goes to 
They're such idiots. And they they had like brand name. Like literally Beyonce dropped you in a lyric. Ooh, that's a really good point. So it's like, like you're so stupid. You're yeah. so stupid. It's gonna go the way the friendster. Oh, and MySpace. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I feel like all these companies always try to pivot away from the one thing that they're known for or good at. Like even Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram's constant battles to be each other. It's yeah. like just be the thing that just you were going to be. Just be you. Just be you. <laughs> Follow your arrow wherever be you go. <laughs> be yourself no matter what anyone says. Everybody else is already taken. <laughs> be yourself, all the fans. <laughs> Starting next week, we're going to become an exercise and wellness podcast. <laughs> I mean, I would actually do that. but Yeah, you would. Yeah, <laughs> I can add that as a segment. Uh, well, actually, this is a good pivot. Speaking of um, motivational messages and empowerment. Yeah. I think it's time for our queen of pop, Miss Brittany. So where do we start with this? There was a lot of posts. There was a lot of posts. Here's what I'll say. I think I'm going to say this. There was a lot of talk this week and a lot of reporting around this dog story, which I feel like I don't even want to really get into because... There's mixed messaging, there's mixed reporting, we don't trust certain sources and others, and I'm kind of just like, you know what, I don't, I don't like how this is all being spun. Yeah, I I agree with that. So I'm sort of just like, I would love to hear from her directly on this situation, and I don't To me it felt very, what the media started doing in 2007, 2008, Mm -hmm. where anyone that had an interaction in any kind of way was like selling yeah. stories to the press. So it's like, it's feeling very that to me, it's like someone might like, if she goes to Starbucks and she doesn't, I don't know, she holds the door for someone. Then that person's going right. to run to the press and be like, Oh, she tried to slam a door in my face. Right. Like, right. 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 You know, it just feels to me like literally anyone is just running to right. whatever. I'm not loving it. And I'm also just like, you know what? Like as she points out herself now, and also like uh, As people in the Discord have been pointing out, like, if this is somebody who's conserved, then shouldn't it be the people allegedly in charge who should not have let that happen to begin with that you're, like, blaming her for? Anyway, it's like, it doesn't add up. Yeah. It feels like they're trying to justify something shady again, so I don't love it, and I don't really want to, like, But also, couldn't it have just been, like, a miscommunication? Like, I don't know. Well, that too. That too. So, I feel like we're going to not dive into that drama also as soon as i as we started recording this people reported that she's been reunited with the dogs good so good i'm happy to hear that because it's feeling very familiar this yeah. has been a tactic before uh we are just sending her the best and like praying that this shadiness goes away already get them away from her <sighs> all right so on to more positive things yeah she did some she did some clapbacks in the form of instagram posts Another queen about, with her tits out. Another queen with her tits out. Titney is really making a statement in 2021. And this time I really liked what she had to say. She did another boob post and she had a, quite a caption. And essentially it boiled down to, you know, I can express myself however I want. You know, women are told to be a certain way. I'm not going to do this forever, but I can do this because I want to. And uh, suck it. <laughs> yeah. She told everyone to kiss her ass again. She did tell everyone to kiss her ass. Uh, first with boob, first with body, and then with career. The career one was a serve. Yeah, I was so proud to finally, like, see her address it. Yes, humble knee, acknowledged legend knee. <laughs> did a little, I don't know if she made it or if it was already, like, a popular TikTok colla- uh, compilation, but it was just, like, highlights from... The career, and she was like, hey, just because I'm dancing in my living room, I remember I'm a legend. And by the way, most of these highlights are from before the conservatorship, so kiss my ass. Yeah. You love to see it. She did not lie. She did not lie. There, th- That is such a good point, to be honest. And it's one to call out. It's like, uh, all of these iconic moments mostly do come from pr- pre-2008. Yeah. But so. Resilient Queen has also yeah. had numerous moments. Of course. Since. And we still stand the music since, for the most part, and all of that. And she's, you know, circus tour is a serve. And there are moments, for sure. Work Bitch, you know, we still live for. Like, the video is still 
Very iconic. Some moments. <laughs> Stream glory. Hold it against me video. Layers of meaning. So, you know, it's not without any highlights post-2008, but she's made a point. She sure did. Uh, so, that's basically where we're at. And unfortunately, the caption did change on that. which And some posts got deleted, right? Yeah. See, I'm still on the... I have no idea, but I still feel like flagging might be an issue for her account because oh, of the boobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if things are disappearing because too many trolls are reporting it as nudity, which it would just disappear automatically. Or if there's something the control is being fought over. I really don't know. I don't know if she's changing her mind about some pictures. I do not know. Yeah. The mystery continues until we get the good mysterious book one day. That's true. Well, <clears throat> speaking of clothes coming off and coming on. I know. It's like, I feel like this whole episode's like tits out, up. <laughs> tits out. <laughs> now they're it not. It really is quite a tits out episode. Yeah. Well, cover up those tits with some fashion, girls. <laughs> it's time for high fashion. <laughs> So Guys, this is awesome. This is a billboard. This is super high fashion. Oh my god, that's so high fashion. So high fashion. All right, so my pick this week, I actually have two, and they're both Ooh. on Instagram, not sponsored. But <laughs> the first one is Ashley Simpson, her post about Mom's Night Out, serve. Uh-huh. And also Inna. Inna. Serving. Ooh, she looked good. Yeah, in that pink dress with like the palm leaves. She really looked amazing. That's what an unbothered, unproblematic queen looks like. Literally. Like, they're just chilling. She she can only serve bops and looks. That's her only job. Goals. <laughs> it's truly goals. Oh, God. We stand in, a, in this house. Uh, my high fashion was Madonna and uh, also Mariah. So we did kind of cover that because those were kind of the looks that caught us. But I will also give a shout out later on. To Miss Musgraves, who's having quite a moment, and she had her first TikTok moment, and her look in that is a serve as well. We'll get to that a little. We'll get into Miss a little later in the episode. Little, little muskrats rise up. It's our time. <laughs> muskrats. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's well, kind of cute. As, yeah, I, think I would be a muskrat. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't that an actual animal? Yes. Oh, okay. Now I get it. <laughs> You're going to have to look There's that like, one up. Well, I thought you were saying, like, I thought you were saying rat. Oh, I am. It's a double layer there. It's, yeah, there's, uh, there's three layers there. They look they look sort of like beavers, kind of. Oh. They're cute. They're like uh, rodents. <laughs> They're cute. Love that. You just called all that's, her fans that's, rats. That's her fan base. Cute little just rodents. Just so it's known, before Mew Mew's review comes out, he called all of you rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll go over well. Yeah. As always. All right. Uh, well, anyway, Casey is oh, now on TikTok. Of TikTok. Yeah. Time for some TikTok talk. I have to confess that your loneliness. I bought that stupid fucking sunset lamp mm. that is all over TikTok, not sponsored. Does it give you uh, happiness rays or whatever? We'll find out. Oh, okay. I'll check You're it next week. You're supposed to stick week. your face. <laughs> You're supposed to like stick your face in it for 15 minutes. No, it's just um, it's for ambiance, like oh. a sunset. Get it? It's a lamp. Sure. Have you not it's seen this? Be... I, but I, it's sort of like, isn't it like the salt rock? Is it... no, it's like a little orb. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel like it's all over my FYP constantly. Maybe I've never this seen is a it. me. Oh. I think it's so this is a me problem. It's a you problem for um, sure. <laughs> great. <laughs> I literally was thinking my for that. you page is like existential crises and like bottoms. So I feel like oh. it's a little different. <laughs> but what are your what ads do you get? <laughs> oh god, ads are like usually uh, clothes. I would say like brands. Okay, so we, our algorithm, the FBI agents behind our screens, are working on different. <laughs> They're, uh, yeah. So I thought the ads I get were like the ads that everyone was getting. So I'm like, if I see this fucking sunset lamp one more time and then I finally cave. Truly, I haven't. Wow. Okay. So it is, it's just like it's supposed to improve the mood and the ambiance. Yeah. Like, cause I was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And then this guy who was streaming was using it as backlighting. Yeah. So I was like, let me grab one of these. This could come in handy. Is it on right now? No, it didn't arrive yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I was like, doesn't look very ambient to no, me. No, this doesn't look. <laughs> I'll let you know next week if it arrives yeah. or maybe I got scammed. Well, I will say something else that is all over my For You page, I don't know about you, is this trend that will not go away, the crying to your younger self trend. Um, no. Okay. Well, (laughs) (laughs) for some of us, there is this trend of talking to your younger self, soundtracked by a lovely song by November Ultra, Come Into My Arms. It's just, now it's triggering. Every time I hear the sound, I know it's coming. It's just people talking to their inner child basically like me at eight and you're like so did we end up marrying that guy and then the adult version's like no we're gay oh <laughs> <laughs> wait are they sad ones they're sad ones they're usually crying they're oh i can't do and that the, it's usually trauma they're just like did mom accept it and the old one's crying and they're like no it's like i don't i that's a lot yeah it's just been one that's all over my for you page some you have been doing more fun ones triggered that's what i'm hearing I, There's I'm not something, triggered. I, it's you're it's too, cringe. You're fearful to speak to the inner child in you. I, <laughs> My tarot cards here are telling me that you are scared. To trust the voice within? Yeah. Possibly. Your inner I, child said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately tears. Uh, what would you ask your inner child? Or um, what would your inner child ask you? Oh, that's deep. I feel like my the inner child in me would be like, you're gay and <laughs> people are going to hate you constantly, so stop caring now. Get a start on that. Oh. Yeah. oh wh- we're doing a RuPaul's Drag Race finale. What would you say to six-year-old T. Kyle? Well, that's what I would. I would be like, yeah, listen, yeah. kids listen, are you bullying you now on yeah. at recess. Get used to it because it's going to happen in your teens. Your 20s, your 30s, it just people get different about it. So That's stop caring actually. what people think now because you're going to be dealing with this for the next 20 fucking years and it's not going to change. So stop caring. Wow. I would yeah. say all of that. But then I would say go ask dad to invest in a company called Apple. Trust me. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> greedy. <laughs> I'm just saying, I let me set myself up for success against the haters and the world by also <laughs> <laughs> I mean, being an Apple investor. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm still working on that with my inner child. Yeah. The bullying part. We'll get over it. Could also tell them that the last good year in pop music is 2015, so. 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy no, no, it. there were moments in 2016. Oh, and yeah, that's true. Up until summer, 2016. It's going to taper off. We'll just tell them it's going to taper off. I feel like my inner child would be like, did you get all 151 Pokemon? Did you? (laughs) No, and that's why I don't want to do this in front of the world, all right? (laughs) (laughs) That would be funny, though. That would be a funny one. Do it. If I was crying about that. The one that makes me cry all the time is the one that's like, oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, that one! Uh, I oh, they get you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna start crying right now. Just it's always it. like the last week of this dog's life, and they're like waddling toward the screen, and they're like, "I'm so proud uh, of oh you." Why are you doing this to us? I was just watching a nice video about how to prepare a squid, oh. and now, <laughs> and like the original video on like the VHS tape. Oh my god, it's so uh-uh. I could start crying. I literally could start. Should I do it? Should oh, I start? So- oh, we're not on camera, but. Oh, well, you could. But I don't think it makes us very well, because I feel like I swipe cry, then swipe laugh, and swipe, and it's I know. Else, I'm it. literally like, who would ever be proud of me? Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, this is something to work out yeah. with your inner child. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, like, you know oh, what? You're not going to hear that till your late 20s. So that's what uh-oh. I would tell him. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> You know what? We've all got to work through these things in different ways. So <laughs> that's what we got to do. Uh, speaking of working out things in different ways, actually, this is a good segue to somebody who worked it out in some ways for her that I wish I could do. Sounds great. Uh, how would you like to uh, fuck off to New Zealand for four years? <laughs> oh, I would love that. Honestly. Yes, everybody. Our, our Lord and Savior. Yeah, she went back to the beginning, to New Zealand, after amassing a grand amount of fame, to record her album, 
solar power. An eco-friendly collection that has a music box with no music in it. Why is it eco-friendly? She released a music box instead of the traditional CD where you can get a digital download inside of it. So it got it has like eco-friendly packaging and whatever and the pictures inside, but there's no actual CD, which is more harmful, I guess, to the world to create carbon wise or whatever. Carbon footprint wise. I, I don't know. And Billboard said it doesn't count to the charts, which is very interesting. Wow. Like if you buy it, it's merely for collectible status. You're not helping her chart. Wow. Which is interesting. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't care about the charts. Well, that's what she said. She said, I own a house. I'm happy. I'm good with money. I know that people working for me won't like to hear that. Queen behavior. Queen behavior. TBH. Yeah, so solar power's here. The gays have a lot of thoughts about it on the internet. You know, what I'll say is it's a vibe. It's a mood. It's sunny. It's golden. It's giving Natasha Bedingfield, early Nelly Furtado, Jewel, early guitar pop 2000s. Okay, I'm looking that one up. (laughs) (laughs) I take it you did not. Um... (laughs) Was there a Peppa Pig release? No, my Spotify was acting weird. I couldn't. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate when that happens for a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, it was only giving me fan sounds. Got it. Got mm-hmm. it. Yeah, actually, everybody, remember to correct your wrapped 2021 now. <laughs> fan sounds might be taking number one again for many people. Yeah. Uh, solar power is probably not going to be that high up for me at the rap 2021, but I also don't really like the the dragging of it either. I feel like it's a little unfair to compare her to her younger self. She's having a conversation with her six-year-old child, actually, on some of these songs. And, you know, a person grows. They change their, their mood. They It helps to go off to New Zealand and, like, live happily that's that's nice and also they weren't impacted by coronavirus so like i feel like her experience it was kind of pleasant for the past year and a half yeah relatively so that's kind of interesting but yeah she's sort of like half satirically making fun of like uh new ageness but also sort of semi-serious and just sounds like she's living well to be honest and And that's all that matters Plus, every icon has a flop era. (laughs) I'm not saying that it's a flop, but like if the fans are not happy and the fans are like Mm -hmm. a flop, just know that every icon has a flop era. That is including you and including me. Arguably, I've never gotten out of it. Yeah, I've had two flop eras. My flop era is ongoing. Oh, Uh, but I don't think I'm in my flop era. Mm, You don't. (laughs) <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, no, I know. But also, it's a different taste. It's a different sound. And that's fine. I mean, a lot of people are coming for Jack Antonoff's neck because he's worked with all the girls. And I think he's sort of like, at least it doesn't sound like folklore. And it doesn't really sound like Lana. I understand that people don't want he he brings the vibe relatively down i'm in a lot of cases i would say the bpm down uh but it's not his fault like i feel like these women are writing their music the way they want to and it's their art so yeah and they would not put out something they didn't want to like right it's like they want to work with him therefore also the bar was so high because her last album was so massive it's you're i feel like it's a lose-lose situation like some people are gonna hate it yeah, I mean, some people hated when Taylor Swift went pop with 1989. They were like, ew, That's what is true. this? She's over. You're never going to please everybody. You're just nope. never going to. Um, highlights on the album include the opening track, The Path, California, I really like. Um, Secrets from a Girl, Who's Seen It All, is, I think it should have led the album. I, I really love that song. And there's a spoken word from our Swedish queen of pop herself, Robin, at the very end of it. Oh. She, like, welcomes you to sadness. She's, like, now boarding. And she, she, like, has you pick up your luggage and everything. It's very cute and clever. A little Easter egg. Well, I'm going to listen to that. Yeah, listen to that. Uh, Watch I, know. like, will love it. Yes, I think you will. I think Mood Ring is your vibe and Secrets from a Girl. And it's not that it's... What's my it vibe? Beat. Your vibe is uh, very cool and fun. And <laughs> just... I'm in a silly, goofy mood. I just want to do silly, goofy just things. I want to dance. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, she's she's definitely more uh, free. It's not for everyone, but if you like it, you'll like it. Yeah. I think it's a very High by the Beach album. Oh, Bob. So go get your, your edible and go sit by the sand. Oh, perfect. I'll, maybe I'll do that later. Honestly. Well, well, speaking of not being for everyone. No, wait. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> no. I meant not being yourself tonight. No, you didn't really lie. <laughs> Ha. Our queen, our other other queen, our legend, X X X T T T X Tina Aguilera mm-hmm. is coming. X to is coming to the BK. BK Mirage. Legend Tina is coming back to the East Coast. For a one night only Ladyland Festival alongside Caroline Polchak. Yeah, this is gay rights. This entire, yeah, the lineup screamed gay rights. I think Aquarius is doing a DJ set. Uh, uh, Nina Sky, very, very iconic. Very left lane, some would say, artsy-fartsy. It um, is very left lane. It is. Not everyone will get this set or this performance, and it will be ahead of its time. But I if you are around... hope, because I got my ticket secured. See you there if you're going. <laughs> I TBD on me, but uh, for various reasons, uh, family plus birthdays. But we'll we'll see. X Tina might take precedence over this. I think so. Um, yes. Yeah, I'm just excited, and I feel like she'll do something maybe more deep cutty because mm. it's gay rights crowd for the gays. The fans will be there. The fighters. That is true. If she's going to open with Elastic Love. Like, literally, she, she could do vanity. Yeah, she really could. You're right. She is going to go deep, I feel. Yeah, I hope. I hope so. You know, it, it's hard to say because she does have that set lined up from the Hollywood Bowl she did, like, yesterday. So she might just... She will not do uh, an orchestral set. No, not at... orchestral, but just she has the sings lined up. Actually, knowing her, she might. She... <laughs> let's also, like, not count it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that... Um... She's probably going to bring that fucking red apple from New York, New York. New and York. fly out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I don't get to see the red anal bead mic in person, I'm going to be so sad. I hope it makes an appearance. Oh, God, I hope so. I mean, shout out to that whole lineup. It looks really, really good. It looks really fun. So see you there. See you there. I hope Caroline joins her on stage at some point. That would be fun. All right. Well, also coming up soon, right? Two days after that is going to be the VMAs on September 13th. There's been a kerfuffle online. Have you seen about Miss Normani? No. Normani tweeted and made it known that she has not yet been invited to perform at the VMAs. And people are not having it. There's a trending topic, let Normani perform. Because Cardi B was like, I hope I get to see Normani perform. Wow. And... You know what? They're fools. And people were like, oh, you're fucking label. I hate them. And she's like, no, they've been doing everything they can. So it was like fully fuck MTV. Jeez. I'm surprised. She gave them such a good motivation moment. Yeah, that was so good. And it just feels tone deaf to like who's performing right now, who's who's hot and like who's around right now that in the scene. Yeah. Like, it's a song with Cardi B. It should be, like, promoted on MTV. And the video was so so talked about. We're going to talk about videos. Well, they don't do that anymore. No, they sure don't. I feel like their 40th anniversary was spent playing Ridiculousness on a 24-hour loop. Literally, and Jersey Shore. Yeah. Which is, like, bop, but... Well, yeah. Jersey Shore should always be allowed, but but that's it. (laughs) Well, we'll see what happens at the VMAs. We do have five confirmed performers. I think it was... uh, Machine Gun Kelly, Lil Nas X. I'm doing this off the top of my head. Uh, Camila Cabello. Who? So, you know, I guess there's stages for everyone. <laughs> and uh, there's... Um, but not everyone, there's apparently. There's front. There's... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's uh, uh, Casey. And... Wait, who's the last? It's Hold on, hold on. 
Type, 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 type. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm a liar. I'm a fucking liar, Camille. It's not Casey. I was just hoping it was. Oh. Machine Gun Kelly, Camila Cabello, Lil Nas X, Lord, and Olivia Rodrigo. I would like Olivia to drive in my prerogative style, like smash through and be like, I got my driver's <laughs> license last Taking week. your driver's license away already. Taking it away. Crashed into the back of my fucking car, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> I think she needs to drive in, cause chaos, and then perform Brutal. I think Brutal would be a fun show opener. It's Brutal out here. Sure is. Sure fucking is. So I'm excited for Olivia because I do feel like ultimately she's the main pop girl of this moment because of driver's license and the hype and all of that. I do think like they're going to give her the money and the funding for the biggest performance. We'll see. Yeah, she's still topping the charts. And Lil Nas X, I think, is going to be crazy. I don't know what, but he's going to pull a stunt of some kind. Oh, yeah, there will be a stunt. There could be, like, an accidental nude. There will be stunts. Be stunts. Run for your life. <laughs> Literally. Ooh. Speaking of, actually, oh my God, she's Bob. coming. Remax. Miss Petrus. Kim Petrus has announced, all you little baguettes, are you ready? <laughs> Yes, we're uh, we're incoming. Case not case. Casey's coming too, but Kim Petrus is coming. But yes, there's there's more incoming. There's a lot incoming all of a sudden. Uh, before we get to the main one, I would just like to shout out Miss Lisa of Blackpink is coming in our area. Arguably the most anticipated solo for many, for some. Very excited to see what she does. And you know, I like the cover. Sometimes you can be in a girl group and do solo things and not have to leave the band. Let's Oops. just say that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that started this week. Yes, Miss Nelson um, is coming as well. And we're going to see how she's doing. She's coming with boys and a, and a P. Diddy sample. <gasps> tell me. Is not tell me, oh. unfortunately. But we will see how that goes for her. Uh, I'm I'm only wishing the best for everybody, but you know the timing was interesting. There was there was an interesting moment with that. Oh, Let's what a world! <gasps> oh, <laughs> do I hear? Yeah, <laughs> the flickering candle of my slow burn boy smells candle in the distance, which is actually good. It's good. Yeah, not sponsored. It's a good product. Little Muskrats. It's our time. Casey Musgraves is coming back with a new album, new era incoming. Now, we believe it's called Starcrossed. I don't know if she confirmed it herself. Yeah, it was on, like, you know, the girls were talking. Yeah, I think it was, like, listed on Album of the Year or something like that, where it was, like, maybe possibly true. Or it might be true already uh, by the time we finish recording this. But she decided to reveal the first song with a casual 30 square drop. Of... Yeah, that was interesting. I felt really bad it... for the designer who had to slice all that. The designer, the the users who follow her, we're just going to be getting squ- sky squares for the next two weeks in our feeds. Um, a choice, but the first 20 seconds sounded great. Mm-hmm. And then it was silence and we got lyrics. Now we do know that this divorce album is coming because that's what happened in between divorce, divorce hour and now. I was going to say golden hour, <laughs> but it's divorce hour now. <laughs> yes, yeah, she references it in the lyrics right and then, yeah. yeah oh yeah maybe we flew too close to the sun or something like that yep we are definitely getting that album uh she's making me very excited with what she's said about the album i need to get this she said oh yes like two years ago she referenced that she was listening to like uh Sade, which once again i'm going to freak out if that is the case uh and i think she still referenced her recently about the album sounding like that. Oh, here it is. May 20th, 2021. Here we go. I think she's a Sade stand. Um, Bill Withers, Daft Punk, Sade, Bob. The Eagles, and Weezer are her references. Who knows? Sometimes the girls listen to music that sounds nothing like the music they make. So True. We will have to see, but I am extremely excited, and I didn't know how excited I was until the teasers rolled out, and I was like, wait a minute. This was my album of 2018, I think, and... I really do still listen to the album and love it. And I've been going hard for, do you know her song, Follow Your Arrow? No. So that was when she was like much more country. I mean, not that Golden Hour isn't, 
Uh, it's basically gay rights. She, you know, this is country music. This is not exactly the most tolerant genre. And the song's all about follow your arrow, do what you want to do. That makes you happy because they're going to judge. It's very Kelly Clarkson. Um, you can't win. And the Bye. lyrics are like, kiss lots of boys, kiss like lots of girls. If that's what you're into, I stand. I've been listening to that song a lot lately because I guess now that the Casey news is out, I'm just excited for it. I'm going to look that one up. You definitely have to look that one because that, oh, I'm trying to remember. Sam Lansky, deep friend of the pod and former roommate, um, it introduced me to Miss Musgraves like truly many years ago. And I was just like, no thanks, country music. But then when I heard Follow Your Arrow, I was like, oh, wait. Ahead of its so. time. Yeah. So that was like my first introduction to her. And then truly Golden Hour took off. And Golden Hour is so good. It's so good. It's oh, what so... a world. Oh, best song oh, on the what album. An album. Happy and Sad is mine, I think, because that's me. Um, and the little, her merch little guy. Oh, yeah. The smiley face is so cute. The smiley sad. Yeah. I'm really excited for her. And I do think like it's kind of all eyes on her with the whole, is she going to do the Taylor Swift thing? Is she going to go 1989? We'll see. Wow. I mean, a that Casey, collab with Troy. A Casey 1989. Oh, my God. It would end me. Yeah. But I still, I, like, Golden Hour, I know it, I guess it is country, but I don't associate it as, like, oh, God, I, you know, it's too twangy or whatever. Yeah, no, I think it's a good listen. Yeah, so, I don't know. Or maybe she'll go deeper into country, but, like, as long as it's her, I think I'm on board for Trap house. (laughs) I'm all right with a uh, uh, slope. (laughs) Um, bop. Here comes your remix. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh my god. I just remixed the new Justin Bieber song. Oh right, you've been on one with It's so Stead. good. I'm obsessed. Well, I'm sure all the believers It sounds will so eat that good. Up. Oh god. Yeah, I know it's been everywhere on TikTok. Number 1 on the discussed. charts. That's right. Take that, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "We don't want you to stay." On the charts. <laughs> oh, God. Olivia will be back very soon, I think. I have a feeling she's about to be back. I guess that's all that's coming. I mean, there's plenty coming, actually, for once. I feel like we've got plenty to be looking forward to. Yeah. To the Jonas Brothers tour. Oh, Nick Jonas. That, his ass and jeans photo was like, mm. yep. The flavor. Yep. Yeah. His posts have been, but Joe's too lately. My fave. He's such a funny dad. Oh, that's right. He's a dad. He's a corny, punny dad. Yeah, just plays golf. He's like a king of pop. He, he did some sort of sips tea reference recently that was funny. He's a funny guy. We stan. We stan. All right. Well, until next week, everyone. Until next week. Stay safe. Stay dry. Or Well. Well, <laughs> or, I, at least I'm alive. Yeah. And until next time, we will see you in the live chat, but then we will also see you soon. Oh, oh, oh. oh. (laughs) That was a Legends Only fan. Yeah, they were like, you did the wrong order for that. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oops. (laughs)